So we are going to be working on some painting this evening. Um, let's see if I can get this set up here so you can see the picture well enough. Ooh. Hold up, we zoomed in too close. If that's gonna, there we go. That looks really good there. Okay, so we're working on this picture that I um, kind of skipped ahead because I wanted to do like marker and colored pencil coloring. And now I feel like painting several pictures. So um, we're gonna have to take it one picture at a time though because they gotta dry. So. We're going to start out with this picture here, which is like a, got a lot of desert vibes to it with the um, agave plant on her forehead and the snake, um, just kind of desert vibes there. So we need our palette. Some paint. Let's see, I should plan a method of attack. I feel like I need to do silver paint first. So we're gonna get some silver paint out of here. I think the only silver paint I have is this um, leather paint. It's acrylic, but it's a leather paint. So, we're going to have to work with that. I think this is a little bit more slow drying. Um, so, I'll work with that. <laughs> okay. I don't want that to fall over. Maybe over here. Need a nice pointy brush. This looks like a good pointy brush. Okay, so I'm going to dot on here. Cause that's silver. Dot on here. Just got some ear piercings that need silver on them. This charm needs silver on it. Looks like there's some studs on her necklace that need silver on them. And then these stars need silver on them. So I noticed that the Albertsons app has changed now. I'm thinking I like the way it's changed. Kind 
excited. Might encourage me to do more shopping at Albertsons. They've changed the reward points don't expire as quickly as they did before. Which that was kind of an issue is that I would earn reward points, but they would expire too quickly. And I wouldn't be able to actually get any rewards from them. So I'm glad that they extended how long the reward points are. And it seems like there's a lot more stuff on sale now, which is good. Let's hope the economy starts picking back up. I'm hoping. a lot of people up there they're changing the prices around are starting to get their balls busted for um, changing the prices around because they're it's obvious there's some like there's some corruption within the system the inflation doesn't have to be as high as it is. People are just getting greedy. And um, hopefully this recession can die down a bit. Because uh, people aren't able to make a living anymore. And it's just uh, not cool. Right, I'm doing a mix of silver and gold tones. I don't know, there's just something lately about me mixing warm tones with cool tones. I freaking love it. It's like the contrast, the juxtaposition of cool and warm. doing all the little tiny stars on her shirt in silver. And yes, they're not perfect. I will go in with a pen later and try and make them look a little bit more intentional. There's a stink bug loose in my house right now. I'm not liking that. The stink bugs get in all the time. Because of all the blackberry bushes down the down by the creek. And now that I 
pick blackberry bushes for the um, stick bugs. Brings more stink bugs into the house. I might have to wait for the silver paint to dry before I can do more paint over top of the silver paint. But I wanted to get the base layer of the silver paint on the picture before I put down much more paint. this um, shirt to look like it has like a mesh kind of sheer material it's kind of velvety and that's what I'm looking for and the texture of the shirt So pretty! Oh my gosh, I'm loving it! Alright. Okay. 
All right, so I guess we should probably do our skin tone next. Um, I'm going to use this burnt sienna. I'm going to use a little dollop of this titanium white. A little more like loosely flowing brush. Our white and our burnt sienna. Was that what it was? Burnt sienna? I think so. Trying to get some good skin colors here. that down a bit. Get more of a painted look. We want the finish picture to look like it was painted. It's kind of a hack. I mean, it is painted, but it's mixed medium. Maybe I should have an art show. It's been a long time. I bet I could find somewhere downtown that would show my stuff now. Now that downtown is like a lot less conservative than it used to be.
bet True Juice would show my artwork. I would have to make a bunch of prints first.
I bet the best way to go about it would be to make a bunch of prints and a bunch of stickers. Because I bet people would be more likely to buy prints and stickers than the actual artwork. And plus the artwork is in a sketchbook, so I'm not going to sell my sketchbook. Maybe I should wait until I finish the sketchbook before I go about doing that. I think her pants were going to be velvet too. So we need to add that shine on the pants. Y'all remember when velvet pants were in style? Bring velvet pants back into style. I freaking love velvet pants. white to the burnt sienna. I'll do some strips in the background.
And get the brush nice and wet. And we're gonna do some splatter paint. You know how much I love my splatter paint. darker burnt sienna. Okay, we're gonna let this dry and then we'll finish it probably tomorrow evening with some gel pins. Gel pins and marker and I think that's all we're gonna really do on it. Um, Oh, and then I want to put Mod Podge on top, of course. That's a new thing I'm doing, is putting Mod Podge on top. So it looks like it's all painted. It looks really nice that way. Um, so, we're done for the evening. I will see you all tomorrow night. Thanks for joining me. Good night.